Todd is asking about recruiting and opening up recruiting. So has there been any talk about that? Of course, we've just kind of passed the season or would be right in the midst of one of the main times in regards to bringing kids on campus. And that's pretty much going to leave us by. Well, we, we've already said that uh, we're in a dead period through June. There won't be June officials. They can open up athletic facilities and whatnot, but they're not going to backtrack, in my opinion, on the recruiting calendar. I think we're going to be in a dead period probably probably until August, to be quite honest, um, because there's something to be said about bringing on your signed you know, scholarship student athletes versus bringing on uncommitted high school students and their families for, for visits and whatnot. I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, nor do I play one on TV, but it just seems like there's a lot more, you know, you run a, a lot more liability risk at that point. Uh, I think they need to sort through some things before they get, they get there. Uh, I think that they need to make sure that everybody is open to about the same level of, uh, of openness uh, so I don't, I don't see any change happening and I would say June is still going to be closed. Yeah, I would think closer to July 1st before they do that. I think they want to get a little deeper into the uh, process here of the reopening of our society and, uh, find out, you know, what truly is safe. Um, I, again, they wouldn't be mandating that kids visit. I mean, it's still voluntary for any kid who wants to visit. And I think the other part of it is uh, getting out on the road and meeting with people that whole period in May where that usually happens and coaches go out and watch spring practice has all been uh, put by the wayside. So I think that, uh, you know, you're, you're looking primarily that, uh, that you're trying to get people onto your campus. And so I guess we'll have to, uh, to wait and see when, you know, that is deemed safe. And, you know, Ohio State, um, they would be busy almost around the clock right now just showing prospective freshmen uh, who are going to be seniors this coming year or who haven't made their decision yet, or even underclassmen, juniors, whatever, just students at large come through there every day for visits, and they're not doing that. So, until such time that the university says it's okay to bring prospective students at large, just, you know, boys, girls, whoever, not football people, uh, thousands of those people uh, tour the campus uh, every year, and probably a hundred or more of them uh, per day when it's nice, uh, until you know, it's been cleared that those people can come back on campus, why would you think it's safe to do uh, athletic visits. So I know it's important and it's an important part of the competitive process of recruiting, but I think that's going to be a decision that's made on a uh, per university basis. The NCAA may lift its moratorium and say, uh, if it's deemed safe by your local university, you can do this. But otherwise, until that time, it's, uh, it's still a, a closed shop. Let me jump in real quick before Gerd or anybody. I, I, I'm going to say that I, the NC2A is all about fairness. And granted, I don't think it's going to be a case of where they're going to try and shove parity down people's throats. But I don't see them personally making a move where maybe more gung-ho cavalier programs are able to have some sort of advantage on that. I think that it's going to be very important for them to, to tow a certain line. And I, I can't, I can't see them putting it in a position of where it becomes wild west. And it's like, if you feel good enough about it, then, then go for it. I think that they could still say, all right, July one, let's just use that as a date. July one, we're going for it. If you're not cool with it, then that that's on you or whatever. I think that that's much more likely than, than just saying, all right, well, we're we're far enough along at this point. We're just going to lift it and, you know, vaya con Dios, let's go for it or whatever. I think it's going to have to be a more calculated situation just in knowing how the NC2A works and just already this wild belief that the, of how the recruiting fortunes are so stacked against so many members of the 130 Division A teams. Yeah, you have college coaches who are still mad that some programs got more spring practices than they did. 
And now if some of those schools get visits before they can, they, they would never allow it or they would do everything they can to make sure that the NCAA would step in. I still go back to when the NCAA had a limit on media guide pages and because it was an unfair advantage for some schools for Texas to have 250 page, you know, media guide and have this glossy cover. So somehow now a kid was going to choose Texas over East Carolina because of this media guide. So they're, um, they've gotten, they've relaxed some rules. I don't know if they're, they're ready to relax them like this though. 